Since the school year is in full swing this morning before we go, we'll talk with Monroe County Schools Superintendent Mark Porter. Now he is working hard again this year to make a difference in the lives of all the young people in the Florida Keys. Mr. Porter, thank you so much for being here with me today. Jenna, Jenna thank you. It's great to be back. I always enjoy our conversations. Yeah, well, I, I got to talk with you last year, and that was your first year. So how, how was it being down here? You know, year one went extremely well. Uh, there was a lot to learn, uh, a lot to learn uh, both in terms of our communities, in terms of the schools, but uh, basically it really went well. And, uh, and I made a lot of, of really good uh, relationship building. That's what really takes place in the first year. You've got to develop relationships with people. And so uh, that was very, very successful that way. And uh, my wife and I have enjoyed becoming part of these communities. And uh, I said a uh, few friendly emails back home to Minnesota during those winter months when our weather conditions here tend to uh, be quite superior to what they're experiencing back home. That's that's right. You were making them a little jealous. <laughs> well, we did make them a little jealous. As a matter of fact, they had an early December snowstorm, I remember, and uh, somebody sent me a, a little Facebook message about how their snowblower wouldn't start. And so I took a picture of my wife and I out at the southernmost beach and said, ours wouldn't start either. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I'm sure they enjoyed that. All right, let's get into some of the changes mm -hmm. for this new school year. Well, it is year two, and uh, there are a lot of changes in Monroe County Schools. And let's start with some of the most obvious, and that would be our, our recently completed construction construction at uh, Horace O'Brien School. Uh, that previously was, uh, was a middle school serving grades 6, 7, and 8. And uh, we not only rebuilt the middle school, but now have also moved all the students over from the former Glen Archer School uh, into HOB as well. So we now have a K-8 campus, actually more accurately, a pre-K through 8th grade campus. And uh, it's, a, it's a very beautiful facility. We're anxious to be able to showcase it to the community who allowed us to, to build this facility. And of course, uh, in that process, we also turned over the historic Glen Archer building to the uh, city of Key West, which they will now be developing into their city hall. So really, one of those truly win-win public partnerships. Mm -hmm. And what about enrollment for this year? Is it up? Is it down? You know, it, it's up a little bit, Jenna, but it's always a little too early to tell. Uh, we were talking before we came on the air about how abruptly the, and quickly the summer seems to be over. And of course, most people are used to a post-Labor Day start of the school year. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, we still have some families that don't bring their kids to school until Labor Day, or the day after, rather. So uh, we're still trying to firm up those numbers, but uh, right now if we do a comparison to where were we last year at this time, to where we are this year at this time, you know, we're really ahead by a little bit, but we're trying to be cautious about that because uh, we, we know that those numbers are what we call a little bit soft at this point in time because what happens is people who are coming to your system, they're pretty quick to let you know they're here. Mm -hmm. The people who are leaving sometimes not so quickly. It's not until the school they're transferring to says, hey, wait a minute, we need some records mm -hmm. uh, that you begin to hear from them. So the numbers change a little bit, but generally overall we are up more significantly an increase in our charter schools than our traditional schools, but the overall numbers look good. Great. That's good news then, definitely. And, and I know another topic that a lot of people are concerned about or want to know what's going on is the budget. Well, as you are probably well aware, uh, the financial condition of the Monroe County Schools has been a topic of great interest for the past several years. And I think I can uh, report in a very positive way that uh, we have presented to the board and the board has approved a balanced budget for the coming 13-14. And by that we mean that we will uh, expend no more than what we're bringing in in revenue. And uh, I am cautiously optimistic about where we are financially. We finished the past year uh, better than we had expected. And that indeed is good news, not only for our students and our families, but our employees as well. Because we've had some tough years and uh, we think we're in a position now to, to really restore some of the financial health to our employees and we're looking forward that, to doing so. Great and then what would you say are some of your goals for this new school year, Mr. Porter? Well, my goals are probably most well captured in the strategic planning effort that we're putting together. And uh, we have six major areas that we're looking at. We entitled our strategic plan, Charting the Course to Excellence in the Monroe County Schools. We'll, of course, be looking at student achievement as always our number one priority. We're also looking, though, at improving our communication and can, uh, community relationships and community engagement. We do know how important it is that we have a high-performing workforce. That's our strategic objective number three. Number four, we want to return to being a leader in innovation and technology. That's number four. Number five is our accountable use of all resources, financial and facilities, as well as our human resources. And finally, we know how important it is that we create a climate and a culture for excellence. So those are really the, I think for myself, those are my goals in this coming year, that we would make significant progress towards those strategic objectives, because those were developed through a uh, 
partnership with the community. Over 40 people came together to try to outline our strategic plan, and we're getting ready now later this month and in October to have the board put their final stamp of approval on that. Well, great. Well, I look forward to having you then back on here in the upcoming months to give us an update on everything. Well, we'll look forward to giving you an update, and hopefully it will be, again, another positive update. We think we're off to a, a great start for the school year, and we're looking forward to a lot of great things happening. For those uh, viewers, I'd just recommend to them that they pay attention to the activities taking on at all of our schools. There are many great opportunities to get out there and see some of these hardworking kids uh, display some of their many talents. Great. Well, thank you again. And if you have any questions or you want more information on that, just check out the information that you see on the bottom of the screen. That's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you can join me right back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care, everyone.